Today we are playing the game Fracco. Try to be the first to get your fractions in numeric order. To begin, the player with the longest hair is the dealer. The player shuffles the cards and deals five cards to each player, laying the cards face up on the table. The cards are left in the same order they are dealt. Stack the remaining cards in the center of the table and flip over the top card of the deck to create a discard pile. The object of the game is to replace cards on your board with new cards until all of the fractions are in numeric order, lowest to highest, left to right. Here is an example of a winning hand. Give players time to identify the fractions on their game board. These can be changed throughout the game, but are to give the player a sense of what cards to replace. The player to the left of the dealer goes first. On your turn, you have two options. You can pick up the top card of the discard pile, or you can pick up the top card of the deck. Replace any cards in your hand with the cards you picked up. You must keep the new card in the same location as the one it replaces. Discard one card. You may discard the card you picked up. As you replace cards, make sure the fractions in your hand are arranged from lowest value to highest value, left to right. These fractions are not in order. This player should consider replacing one or more of the first two cards. The cards with area or discrete fraction representations can be used for either of the fractions represented, in white or in color. For example, a card where one-fourth is shaded and three-fourths is white can be used as one-fourth or three-fourths. Watch as players play around together. Notice that players keep the cards in the order they were dealt and replace fractions that are not in order as they play. The first player to get all five cards in numeric order calls Fracco. The player's cards are checked by the player to the right. If the order is correct, the game ends and scoring begins. If the cards are not in order, play continues. The player that yelled Fracco does not play on the next round. Scoring is based on how many cards are in order from left to right. A player with all five cards in order earns 25 points. Five points for each correctly placed card. Other players' cards are scored depending on the highest number of consecutive cards that are in order. Players earn five points for each card in order from left to right. Think about it. What do you notice is similar among all the smallest fractions? What about the largest fractions? How can you tell when one fraction is bigger than another? How can you tell when one is smaller? Study this hand. What cards are already in order? What cards should you consider changing as you replace the game? Why? Pause this video to study the hand. There are five different sets of representations of fractions. Three different are area models, one discrete model, and one numeric model. You can play this game with fewer representations. Removing a set of fraction representations makes it harder to obtain the cards each player needs. Order more or less. Deal seven cards to each player to increase the challenge, or deal three cards to each player to make it easier to get cards in order. Hidden hand. Play with fewer cards and without revealing your hand to other players. Hiding what fractions are in other players' hand makes it harder to know what fractions are available for your hand. Do not change the order of your cards you are holding. Helpful hints. What can you do to a fraction to help you compare it with another fraction? To help you visualize and compare fractions, use fraction materials. The materials help you check your understanding and verify whether your ideas are correct. Use the instructions link in the Regional Math Science Center website to read the game rules or re-watch this video pausing as needed. Thanks for playing!